Welcome, everyone. Rock and Roll Survivor here. All right. Hope you're having an awesome day. I know I am. Today, I'm going to talk about a band out of Las Vegas. That's right. Formed in 2004 by four childhood friends, Brandon Yuri, singer, Ryan Ross Keys. Oh, I hit myself in the face. That's right. Ryan Ross Keys, Spencer Smith drums, and Brent Wilson guitar. More specifically, Panic at the Disco. Right on, man. I know it's a little more modern of a band and music that I'm used to doing, but uh, these guys really grab my attention, especially with the song that I'm going to play here today, just because they're very melodic. Uh, they seem to have that old school vibe and feel in their music, you know, you know the old rock style. It's not... Uh, too modern and too computerized and that kind of stuff. You know, they play their instruments and they're really good musicians. So we're going to check out Panic at the Disco. The song is Mona Lisa. I think this is a really cool song with cool melodies. Um, these guys are uh, all good singers. Uh, the, the lead singer, Brandon Urie especially, he's got almost like a crooner type voice, you know. So we're going to check this out. Panic at the Disco. Mona Lisa. Alrighty, I love this intro. This is on Jimmy Kimmel Live too, by the way. So that's great crowd, great stage setup. I love the intro. Pretty simple, but great. Uh, great stuff. The vocals too. This guy's an amazing vocalist. Check it out. It takes a moment to assess the yeah. It's cool Fender P bass there. Yeah. These guys, like I said, they're all excellent singers. Harmonies are right on, spot on. They look amazing. These guys, look, they dress very classy, very cool. Uh, young guys. Awesome band. Here we go. Yeah. Love that when it pop, 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 and then the guitar kicks in. Heavy, man. See, yeah, this is great. I love to see young guys keeping the tradition of the hard rock feel in the music, you know, playing their instruments live and raw. It's killer. Here's the build to the chorus. Great chorus. Notice that. All three of them, the three guys in the front, guitar, bass, and uh, lead set, they harmonize during the chorus here. It's killer. Yeah, great sound. I love the bass too. He's got that kind of dirty sound, you know. Great. He does some cool licks here too. Um, this song it's about like a it was written about like personal struggles within and like a duality in nature, kind of like, you know, good person, bad person. Very cool uh you know, thought in this song. I love that bow tie. Right on. Yeah. Great guitar. I love that. He's got that telly or whatever that is. He's just ripping. Love it. Love to see this. Love it. That's great. What a great chorus. Three-part harmony. 
all ripping on their instruments. Drummer's fantastic. He is very precise. He's got great chops. He's just got that great backbeat groove too. He's not, you know, pushing the beat. He's just bum, bum, bum. He's right in the pocket. There's a cool little break in this song too. Right here. That's great. I mean, you know, uh, if you listen to some of their other stuff, early stuff, it's very Beatlesque. They had a lot of Beatles in them. Their harmonies, their vocals, and even the music. There's some really more Beatlesque songs that these guys wrote. I'm pretty sure they've broken up since. The singer's kind of out on his own, I think, doing his own thing. Fact checkers, check it. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure I've seen him on his own doing some stuff. I love it. Oh. Oh. It's great. Oh, that was awesome. Three part harmonies. I got freaking goosebumps. Yeah. It's so cool to see young guys like this ripping it up, you know, tearing it up vocally and on their instruments. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, this guy takes off on the vocals right here. Killer. Crowds goes wild. Wow, man. <laughs> right on, guys. Great voice, man. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Panic at the Disco. Man, if you don't know these guys very well, go check them out. They got a lot of great, amazing music. Uh, if you see, they're very uh, theatrical on stage. They Great moves, great playing and performance. I love this band. Um, check out their early stuff. Like I said, very Beatlesque. They have a lot of cool harmonies and, and melodies, and the music just takes way different turns than you, you'd expect. You know, not your average, uh, you know, songwriting for sure. So check out Panic at the Disco. <laughs> right on. I'm Rock and Roll Survivor. I want to thank you all. Please like and subscribe. I want to get to a thousand subscribers, not because I'm trying to be a star or uh, make money. I could care less about that crap, to tell you the truth. I just want to see people uh, enjoying as much as I enjoy <laughs> this music. And with the music, peace and love. Let's make this world an awesome place. Thank you, guys. It was awesome and it was a blast.